Nicki Minaj was on station head last night and she was giving away, you know, concert tickets, merch and sneakers, you know, different things away to the fan. And she brought JT up. JT was just coming from one of her uh, recent shows and JT was telling Nicki about how much fun she had at the show and, you know, seeing how the love offline doesn't translate to the hate that she receives online. So, you know, it was a pretty good conversation. What I noticed within their conversation was, is that, uh, Nikki asked the fans, well, she asked the barbs and the, and the, who were in the chat. She said, do you think that I should do a partnership with JT? Now I'm wondering, does a partnership mean that is that she would be directly signing JT or would it just be kind of like a partnership with JT's label. I think any way that, you know, if it does come into fruition, materializes, whatever, I think that it would be great for JT because we have to be honest. JT has benefited. She's benefited from the love that and, you know, support. And, you know, I, I think Nikki pretty much understands that as well. She knows that JT is benefiting from from her love and support online. She supports JT. JT music, you know, goes up her retweets and her tweets and everything goes up. And I'm, you know, JT deserves it. Another black woman deserves to win in the female rap realm. So I'm not mad at that at all. My question to y'all is, do you think that this would be a good look for JT? You know what I'm saying? I personally think that it would be a good look because it's going to be more eyes on her. She's Nicki Minaj is essentially sharing her, her audience with you. So I think that JT and Nicki had a past, even though, you know, being that I don't like Cardi B and what she stands for in hip hop. Of course, I do feel some way about what JT has said in the past in regards to Cardi B was saying that I hope that Cardi B, you, I can't wait for her to erase Nikki or whatever she said, but I'm sure that Nikki and JT has spoken depth about it. And it probably had a lot to do with her being down with QC, Cardi B being over there, whatever the reason it was. I have to, you know, I, I realize that that's my gripe. Nikki has already forgiven JT. So, I mean, when I do my commentary, I may mention it from here to, from time to time. But at the end of the day, it's up to Nikki to make that decision. So, yeah, I do think that, you know, it will be a great decision for Nikki to partner with her because she already shows her, you know, a lot of love. And it does seem genuine. I think now, listen, let me just tell you this. Do you think Nikki shows JT love? I know that she likes her, but also to kind of like, mm, I'm not going to say that it's despite Young Miami, but it's almost like, bitch, you played yourself. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you over here acting all silly and, you know, being funny style on the internet. Y'all remember everything that transpired. I'm not even going to go into that. But do you think that she's doing that also to just like let her know? Like, listen, JT, you good. You know, I'm going to share my audience with you. The fans is going to go up with you. Are you a fan who appreciates and, and, you know, loves everything that JT does? I will admit from the what's the first song that she had? What you working with? What you working with? And then she had Sideways and then she had this new song that's coming out, this new song that's coming out. OK, I think that she had three decent songs, to be honest with you. I think that she she's on her track and she's doing the things that she needs to do on a ground level to make sure that she builds her base in the proper way. You know, so especially stepping outside of that city girl situation, you know, we might consider the city girls as being flops. But I think that the city girls helped her get a, a little bit of visibility and then she's just going to take the ball and run with it. In my opinion, even though I'm not a huge fan yet, you know, things can change. You know, the more and more that I hear, to, uh, the more and more that I've listened to No Bars, the more and more I liked it. The more and more that I heard Sideways, the more and more that I liked it. So my question to y'all is, do you think that this is going to be great for female rap? Or do you, you know, do you think that JT is going to benefit off of this? Let me know in the comments. Listen, this is your boy, Laron Potent Pondering. Subscribe to the channel, thumbs up the video, and I'm up out of here. Peace.